Okay, today in Ray's Arithmetic, we're going to do Lesson 5, and Lesson 5 is about reading numbers from 1 through 100. Now, we just spent a couple of lessons counting our way from 1 through 100, reading the numbers, writing the numbers, and just basically learning all the numbers. Now we're going to get some practice just reading the numbers, the figures for the, what we just counted up, because the book refers to them as figures. That's what we're going to be writing here on the screen. So let's start with something easy, which is usually a good thing to start with. How about if I write this up here, instantly you should know what number that is. What number is that? That's a zero, right. Okay. Now if I take that away and put this up, what number is that? Right, that's a one. Yeah, super simple. Okay. Well, how about we put them both up at the same time. We put the one first and the zero next to it. All right, now it's no longer just a one and a zero or a one or a zero. Put them together like this. This is a new number. What number is this? I'll give you two seconds. Time's up. That's 10. 10 is what that says right there. Okay, um, let's just change this a little bit. How about you put two ones next to each other? What number is that? That's 11. Okay, so far so good. How about we write this up here? And you tell me what number that is. Is that a 2? Yep, that is definitely a 2. Well, how about we move Mr. 2 over here? If we put a 0 next to the 2, does that change the value of what we just wrote here, what's here now? Well, you better, better believe it does. That's now what? 20. 2, 0, when you put them together like this, that's 20. So again, you take these individual numbers and put them together to make a new number. All right, let's move on to, how about we do this and this. First of all, what are the two individual numbers that we have? Now, of course, you already know that. It's, on the left, there is a 1. On the right is a 2. Well, you put them together like this, this is a new number. What number do we have in front of us right now? 12. That is correct. Okay, well, that's a 12 made up of a 1 and a 2, right? Well, let me show you something. This number of, I'm writing here is also made up of a 1 and a 2, right? Except one little difference. We got them switched around. Now the 2's first, two's in front of the 1. Does that change the value of this number? Oh boy, does it. It was a 12 before, now it's a what? It's a 21. 21, okay. And if we just drop that 1 and make that another 2, now we've got what? 22? We do indeed. Okay. Um, well, let's just move on to the next numeral here. There's a figure for what number? That's a three. Three, and let's say we do the same thing with the three that we did with the one and the two. We move it over, we put a zero next to it, and we've just radically changed the value of that three. Now it's a what? When you put it together with a zero like that, it's a 30. 30, and if we move the 3, I'm going to do this backwards, watch. Move the 3 to the right, but in front of the 3, I'm going to put a, a slanted 1. How about this? Okay, what number is that now? It's not 31, it's 13. I think I just gave away what, what I'm going to do next. Well, anyway, that's 13, and if we, how about we flip those around and change the order? put the 3 in front of the 1. What number is that, which I said a minute ago? 31. Oh, I'm so, so glad you weren't listening. That's a 31. Okay. 31, not, not 13, but do you see how all we got to do is flip the order of the numbers and it changes? It was a 13 a minute ago, now it's thir 31. Okay, we figured that out. How about we move on and do this, put our 2 back up here, and then the 3 after it. What number do we have there? 23. All right. And if we turn these guys around, put 3 first and Mr. 2 second. Now what number do we have? 32. Right again. Okay. 
And if we take the three, and like we did in the other ones, each one at a time, we double it. Well, we put a second three next to the first one. So what number do we have there? Is that 33? That is 33. Okay, let's move to this one. What number is that? That is four. All right. You're starting to see the pattern here. We're doing kind of the same thing over and over with each numeral as we go through them. Put a zero next to the four. Now, what did we change that four into? We unmagically transformed it into a 40. So four and a zero like that is now 40. Okay. Um, let's... What shall we do next? How about mm, put a 1 and then the 4. What number is that? 14. That it is. Let's see. Now how about we change the order up? Put the 1 first and then the 4. Is that what I'd know? No, no. I meant to do this. Okay, same numerals, same figures that were up there a second ago, a 1 and a 4, but we just turned them around. Now the 4 is in front of the 1, so what number do we have here? 41. That is correct. Okay, well, let's go and do this. Let's put, what, a 2 and a 4 together. They become, what, 24. Okay. Let's see. 24, okay, let's take the same 2 and the 4 and make them reverse order. About a 4 and a 2. Now it's no longer 24, is it? What's this number now in front of us? It's 42. 4, 2, alright. And let's keep on going. Let's go a 3 and a 4. I should probably ask you what they are as I write them up there, huh? Well, yeah, that's a 3 and a 4. Put them together like that, side by side, with a 3 first in front of the 4. What is this number? The answer is 34. Yep. Okay. How about if we put the 4 in front of the 3? Now it's 43. Mm -hmm. See how we're kind of following the same pattern on all these? And the next thing we do, just like we did in all the others, is get out its body double, put it next door, and now you got... What? What number is this? 44. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. How about... Let's go on to the next one. What number is that? 5. Okay. Well, 5 is a good number. And we can put a 0 next to it. And the same thing happens to the 5 that happened to the 4 and the 3 and the 2 and the 1. Boom, it becomes 10 times bigger. Now, instead of 5, it's what? 50. Okay. Well, mm, we put a 1 in front of the 5. What does that make that all together? 1 and a 5 spells 15. Okay. Let's see. And if we take the 5 and the 1 and make them reverse order, 5 first, 1 second, that's now what? 51. All right, and let's put one of these next to in front of our five. What number is that? Twenty-five. Okay. However, if we take that same five and a two, two and a five. Well, put the five first, and then the two. Now we have it's no longer twenty-five. What is it? It's fifty-two. Right. Okay. Um. Still working with our 5, let's put a 3 in front of it. What number do we have here? 35. Okay. And likewise, make them. Okay. So instead of 35, this is 53. All right. See how important the order of the numbers is? When you take the figures and flip them around, it totally changes the number. Okay, let's try, let's take a 4 and put it next to a 5. What number is that? 45. All right, well, 
we make those two guys change up, now it's, now what number is it? Same numerals, we just flip them around, so now we got 54. Okay. And now what do we have? 55, just like the speed limit sign, or some of the speed limit signs. Hmm, how about this? That's a 6. Of course it is. Okay. Well, let's take old Mr. 6 and bring Senor 0 over here. 6 and 0 makes what? We're not adding them, we're just putting them side by side. If you read that, that's what number? 60. Right. Okay, 60. If we do that, a 1 and a 6, kind of sounds like 60, but it's 16. See how important it is to pronounce it correctly? If you didn't have this in front of you, if I said, if I was kind of sloppy at saying 16, you might not hear it right, you might hear 60. Anyway, this is 16. It's one of the teen numbers uh, in the tens. Okay, 16. All right, let's move on to making these guys trade places. Six on the left, one on the right. Now what number? It's not 16. It is what? 61. Okay. How about if we do bring our two back in front of the six? What number is this? 26. Yep, that's easy. We're we cracking the code. And then we do the old switchola, put the six and the two. What number is that? 62. That it is. How about let's bring a three back with our six, pair it up. And we have 36. All right. Well, but we want to move them around and put it like this now. 63. Same numerals a minute ago, but now it's 63 and not 36. Okay. Let's do a couple more. How about um, bring our four back? Yeah, he hasn't been with our six yet. There, there's a new pair, four and a six. How do we read that? Forty-six. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, and make them trade places. Now it's the six first and the four. What is that number there? That is sixty-four. Correct. Okay. How about? Get our five and our six. Well, the six is really getting a workout, isn't it? All right, what number do we have there? 56. Okay. Have we done this yet? Not yet. Put the six in front of the five, now it's what? 65. Okay. And we double up the six, bring another one, bring its twin brother. And that is what? Twin brother's a little bit smaller, but he's 66. 66. All right, let's just do, here, let's do this. Brought to you by the number seven. Okay, that's kind of big, let's see. Let's shrink him down a little bit, put him over here, and put a zero next to the seven. What number is that? 70, correct. You know, I think I'm going to leave the rest of the numbers because we're working our way to 100. We're just kind of randomly, but also in a following a pattern, counting and reading numbers to 100. So let's stop here, and we'll pick up the rest of them and finish up 100 on our way to 100 on the next lesson. So in other words, this is going to be continued. So for now, just uh, you can review and practice, count things, and just uh, read numbers, write numbers all you, all you can, and we'll just see you the next time around. And our next lesson. In the meantime, if you want to check out more information, not only about Razor Arithmetic, but also about homeschool solutions and ideas, you can go to razorarithmetic.wordpress.com.